my name is Mark Gonfiotti, I'm with Ronin, and I want to go over the rope tip prep procedure for our Technora rope. The Technora rope is an abrasion resistant sheet. It also is fire resistant, so it does not melt or catch fire. Um, and so there's actually a special technique for preparing this rope. I want to go ahead and go through that. There's two different ways that you can prepare this rope. One method is with a blowtorch. I'll go through the method for burning the rope with the blowtorch. And the second method is using our adapter, which is a rope rope tip adapter that adapts to any filament and soldering iron. So these soldering irons, you can remove the replacement caps or the replacement tips, and you can have any of the ones that have the filament soldering iron. Our adapter tip will go on to for preparing your rope tip. And it just slides over the filament. And then the tip adapter just screws onto it. Now you don't have to use the cordless, you know, Milwaukee brand here that we have. You can use any of the plug-in style. It just has to be the filament end style tip or um, soldering irons. So let me go ahead and go through how to prepare this first using the soldering iron method. Um, we'll go ahead and we're gonna lightly uh, wrap tape around the end of the rope and cut it off. You don't wanna do it too tight because if you do it extremely tight, when we go to eject the inner core out, you won't be able to get it out, it won't be very easy. So the tape is just going over the end to make sure that it doesn't fray once we make our initial cut. So just loosely wrap a piece of tape, make your cut. Once you have your initial cut, save this because what we're going to do is use some of this inner core here to feed into the top of the cup and that's going to melt and that's going to create a glue that we're going to use for solidifying over the, cap, or the top of the rope and create a cap. So the next step you want to do after you've made your initial cut is you want to inject, eject some of the inner core out and we're going to do that by pulling down on the sheath and the inner core will come up and out of the jacket and we're going to pull some of it out. Now what next we want to do is put a tape width around the end of the sheath here or the inner core and we're going to go ahead and cut that off. This time you can wrap it tight. Once you take about a tape width off, then you can go ahead and remove the excess tape on the end. Then what we're going to do is we're going to melt this outer sheath so the inner core sucks down into the sheath itself. Once the inner core has sucked down into the sheath, we can go ahead and turn our uh, soldering iron on to preheat the tip. This takes about 90 seconds to, to heat up. And then what we're going to do is while this is heating up is that we're going to put the inner core nylon into the cone itself for the burn tip adapter. Once this starts melting, it'll turn translucent in color. And once the color has changed from white to translucent, then it's, then it's ready to um, cap the tip of your rope. So as soon as all of the white has been melted, it'll turn translucent. I don't know if you can see it here, um, but once all the white has gone away, then you can go ahead and use this melted nylon to cap the end of your rope. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put this melt into the end here and we're going to sweep it around so that way it gets into the outer fibers of this sheath and this is going to create a glue. So basically this is going to harden and cap this end so that way your rope doesn't eject out and jam up in the system. So we're going to go ahead and just push it in here.
and you can you leave the tape on for the first time and then I'm going to use a rag and swipe it over the tape and the tape will come off so after that first we'll swipe it over the tape and then you can go ahead and pull that tape off and then we'll hit it a second time to make sure that we get that melted nylon really good into those fibers to create that cap And so you can see all of the melted nylon that was in the tip here has now soaked into the tip of the fibers and has created this cap on the Technora rope that is that does not melt. So it creates this hard cap. And that's the first method for preparing the tip using the soldering adapter um, tip preparer. The second method I'm going to use is the torch. The torch method is a little bit different. What we're going to do is we're going to tape it and we'll make a fresh cut. Except this time, instead of injecting, ejecting the center core out, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the torch directly on the core here and melt it right on the top of the rope. And as soon as you get a nice thick layer of melted nylon, we're going to take the cloth and we're going to press the outer fibers into that melted nylon in order to have the Technora sheath soak up the fibers to create that bond for putting a cap on the end of the rope. And when you're doing this, what you want to do is you just want to hit the top of the rope. You don't want to hit down here because the further you hit down, the thicker the melt becomes or hardness on the end of the rope. And you'll actually increase the length of hard um, tip on the rope. And we just want to make a hard tip right at the very end, not down into the rope itself. So we just want to hit the top of the rope here so we put a cap on it. And so what I'm going to do is press those outer fibers into that melt to have it soak up that melted nylon in the Technora sheath. And as you do that, the tape will naturally just come off. This is pretty good for the first time through. If you do need to hit it a second or third time, you can hit the torch on this two or three times in order to get uh, a nice hard melt and get that melt to soak through the outer fibers as you can see and that's preparing the tip on the Technora either with the torch or with the Ronin tip burner